now, Del West's interview with director Molly Asher at theaofchannel.com. There was a, like an old school film style to the film. Good. How did you achieve that? Well, I wanted, I wanted a, like a grittier old school kind of thing, French New Wave mm -hmm. type feel to it. So um, shot Super 16. So that was a big part of the texture mm -hmm. of the picture. And um, camera movement, I guess, uh -huh. and lighting. I worked with a, a DP that I've worked with a ton on everything I, I work on. I work on with her. She's just amazing with light, with how she moves the camera. We get each other on a very, um, in the heart. You know? Do you find working with women is different than working with men? I don't know. I think it's individual. There is a difference, but I think it's more just individual. Actually, for this film, I purposely wanted all of the main roles to be women, the, you know, the producer, the production designer, the choreographer, the DP, um, because it was a movie about a woman, and so I wanted even on set for that feeling, for that, for that idea to be right. there. So. Who wrote it? I wrote it. And why did you write that, that type of material? What was the, the inspiration for it? Number one, I wanted to write something, make something fun because um, this was my second year film at uh, the grad film program at NYU. And the first two films that I made the first year were incredibly, incredibly dark and depressing. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to like go crazy and have fun. Was it originally <laughs> intended for there for to be an a interracial actually, couple? Actually, no. I, I, didn't see, I didn't get no. that feeling. I said, no, there's something different here. Yeah, I, I had actually, I'd casted somebody else, somebody that I went to undergrad with that, mm -hmm. that, um, that was gonna fly out from LA. And then he, um, got a television show mm -hmm. and last minute couldn't do it except I'd worked with uh, the guy that plays Slim Preston in one of my acting classes at mm -hmm. school and he we were rehearsing a scene from Slim and Lena mm -hmm. and I just I loved it. It's amazing. Him. Yeah and then as soon as I heard that you know the other guy couldn't make it I was like you know what I think this might be actually serendipity because I uh, that guy was great and I just called him up and he was excited and like that. How did you achieve that kind of a feeling and kind of a look in what, your third year of, uh, of film With school? my second year, second year yeah. of film school. A good team. What is the focus of Slim and Lena? What do you want people to get from that film? I mean, is it for entertainment? Is there a message Definitely to it? Definitely I want entertainment. Um, but I want, it, I want people to see uh, a strong woman come out of it. Um, I, I purposely made it so that he's, he's narrating at the beginning and then she ends up narrating. And it's Slim and Lena, but she ends it with saying that her name is Lena and she's her own person without him. You're producing for other people, why? What, what does that do for you? I love like getting teams together. Mm -hmm. I love making it happen, you know? Especially like with projects that, that I care a lot about, I wanna be able to like do everything I can for the filmmakers so that they can make their vision, right. you know? I just find it really satisfying. Talk to me about your best day on set. What was it and what project was it? Well, it was definitely Slim and Lena. I mean, that was the most fun I've ever had probably doing anything. Um, but the best dance set must, it probably was the day with all the extras because it was so... In the bar scene? Yeah, it was so alive and they were amazing. These people, they, 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 they were, they're all part of the burlesque scene. So, you know, they came with all of their costumes and their makeup and they were just game to, to play. And like just choreographing the, his walk into the bar mm -hmm. was so much fun. So yeah, it's, it's such a beautiful film. I, I've watched it a couple times since uh, we got it in. That, that's the pleasure of, of my work. I get to watch all these fantastic films and see people grow and flourish over the years. Mm -hmm. Do you storyboard? Who does them, oh, yes. you or someone else? I do them very poorly. <laughs> and then I sit down with Christina and she says, okay, so what, is this a hand? Is this a face? You know, and, then, and then she, we kind of, uh, we come out with something that, that we both worked on then. What about shot lists? You create your own right, shot lists. Yeah. What, are your, what does your family think of your vocation as a filmmaker? They're very supportive. Really? They've always been, yeah. That's fantastic. I want to thank you for being here today and thank for sharing you your work me. with our AOF family and our viewers.